From time to time, the plot of the movie, Homeward Bound The Incredible Journey, becomes reality. A lost dog travels dozens, or sometimes even thousands of kilometers, to find its way back home. In 2015, a rescued puppy named Georgia May walked over 50 kilometers after going missing during a hike in San Diego. In 2010, a beagle named Laser returned to his neighborhood in Manitoba six weeks after escaping during a fireworks show. He had covered nearly 80 kilometers. And back in 1924, a dog named Bobby achieved a true feat. Separated from his family during a road trip, he traveled 4,500 kilometers from Indiana to Silverton in Oregon, crossing multiple mountain ranges and arriving home six months later. So how do dogs manage to undertake such incredible journeys? According to scientists, the answer is far more fascinating than simply a good nose. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, hit subscribe, and let's find out how it all works. A dog's ability to find its way home isn't a miracle. It's an inherited trait. Its roots lie in evolution. Gray wolves, distant ancestors of modern dogs, used to roam hundreds of kilometers across Eurasia. It was there, thousands of years ago, that humans first domesticated dogs. Today, just like their wild relatives, dogs rely on a powerful tool, a mental map. But unlike humans, this map isn't made of images and directions. Its foundation is scent. Dogs have an extraordinarily sensitive sense of smell, 10,000 to even 100,000 times more acute than that of humans. They can detect everything from explosives to changes in blood sugar levels. Tracking sense is one of their primary methods of navigation, but it's not the only one. Dogs also orient themselves using familiar visual landmarks, sounds, and even spatial relationships. They likely think, there's that tree near home. If I see it from this angle, I need to go that way. By combining all these cues, scent, vision, and spatial awareness, a dog can chart a surprisingly direct path home, even if it's never taken that route before. It's well known that migratory birds, whales, salmon, and some other animals can navigate using the Earth's magnetic field. But could dogs have the same ability? In 2020, Czech researchers conducted a unique three-year study. They worked with 27 hunting dogs, outfitting them with GPS trackers and cameras, then released them into unfamiliar forested areas. When the owner called the dog, the real experiment began. In over 600 field trials, about 60% of the dogs returned to their owners by relying solely on their sense of smell. But around 30% of the dogs did something different. They began with a short run along the north-south axis of the forest, regardless of where their owner was located. With no familiar visual landmarks to guide them, these dogs still managed to find the right direction. The researchers called this behavior compass running. It was as if the dogs were calibrating themselves, using the Earth's magnetic field, and then confidently heading toward their human, often more efficiently than the scent trackers. We still don't know exactly how they do this. The organs responsible for magnetoreception remain largely unexplored. But all evidence points to the idea that dogs might be another species with an internal compass. What's remarkable is how they combine different strategies, sometimes relying on smell, sometimes on visual landmarks, and sometimes on magnetic cues. And that's likely why they so often succeed in finding their way home. While some dogs do make incredible journeys, the vast majority never get such an experience. And that's no coincidence. Modern dog breeds are raised to stay close to humans, both emotionally and physically. Their natural environment is our home, not the wild. Yet, even without training, dogs feel a strong inner drive to return. Their bond with us is more than just routine. It's something that resembles a child's attachment to a parent. Being lost 
triggers stress and anxiety. The journey home becomes an act of love. But even with all their natural abilities, a dog may still not find its way back. That's why our help matters. We shouldn't rely solely on instinct, a sturdy collar, an ID tag, a microchip. One simple step, and the chance of reunion rises dramatically. It's the most important thing we can do to make sure our best friend doesn't have to find the way home alone.